For me, skis are a tool to get my job done. I need to be able to trust them 100%. There is no room for failure when riding big mountain terrain. When I get on an edge and really dig in the snow, I need the skis to react consistently with precision. When I drop into a line and an avalanche lets loose, I need to be able to aggressively charge the fall line to get out of harm's way. My skis need to be able to handle those speeds without any surprises and enable me to safely and controllably do my job. Regarding our product development, especially with the free ride big mountain skis, Scott involved Phil Meyer to contribute to our new Pure Ski Project. The starting point was to design the skis outlines and to define the shapes. We proposed a few versions to Phil in order to fix the width underfoot and to determine the performance and stability needs. Before we finalized the outline shape with waist, tip and tail widths, we mixed a few key radii to obtain the final side cut. The result is that we define the shape of the bottom part of the ski mold. The ski construction, or the sandwich, is essentially based on a poplar wood core. It's a vertical glue lamb known for its lightness and the energy it holds to react quickly, as well as its vibration damping and crud. This is really the birth of the ski construction. The wood core is the essence of the product. In the past, we have been working on some 3D Venturi effects to make the tail look like a spoon, which must improve the tail's stability, especially for turn exits, allowing less surface contact in the snow and improving the position. After a few flex tests on snow, we could measure and prove our theory. We had to fix a certain deformation. During the tests, we immediately felt the advantages on the speed control, especially while running down a couloir at high speed. The Scott R&D factory office is located an hour and a half from my home in Verbier. It is such a huge advantage to have incredible big mountain terrain so close to the engineers. I can call Harvey any time and tell him that I will be there in a few to check some technical points with him. When the first prototypes arrive, I can pick them up immediately and then be back on the mountain in a short time, try the skis and call Harvey right after my ride to let him know my first impressions and feelings like the flex is too soft or we should change the stiffness in the tail or make the flex a bit more progressive. It's really helpful to immediately take a prototype from the office to the snow in such a short time. Skis are not a simple rigid object. On the contrary, they are a living object which has a memory shape that can be deformed to obtain a sufficient flex for safely landing cliffs 20 or 30 meters high. My involvement in the whole ski development process has given me total confidence in our products. I know and trust the steps of the development process, how the skis react or how they could have reacted if we had made them in a different way. <laughs>